Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and I was sent another e-file and I am excited to continue my journey of trying different e-files for you guys. So this is from Frandy and they are an Amazon seller. It is a fully accessible e-file. So this one is a portable one. Okay, so on the side it claims low vibrations, wireless, easy to move, up to 10 hours battery life, up to 35,000 RPMs. It comes with your manual. Little guy there. We got a green one. Wow, I mean, it's literally portable. Let's zoom out a little bit. It came with two bits. So something I wanna point out right off the bat is that the bits they come with are far superior than your typical um, e-file receiving bits. I'm gonna zoom in. Like these are normal bits that you would buy off Amazon, AliExpress, or whatever brand you usually use. Okay, you have your drill. Ah, here are the typical e-file bits you find. Most of these are junk, but I digress. Here is your cable and USB-C. That is a win in my book. Uh-huh. Right there. Let's see if there's any charge to it. I lied. It was charged. So, perfect. Exactly what I would expect to see with this type of e-file. Nice and smooth. Just slide your bits in. Again, this is to protect the dust from getting in there. And what I found is you just hold it, turns on. Not sure if you're seeing that logo. Okay. This is at 35,000 RPMs. So, let's test it. It's pretty awesome. This might be one of the best ones I've used. What can be super awkward here, um, obviously I don't have my uh, duster, so let me, let me get some of this dust off. First impressions on this bad boy are awesome. The touch sensitivity is very sensitive. I'm not sure if you see those numbers. Obviously, I have to play around with it. So that's forward. It should go in reverse. So the only thing I notice is that obviously the battery is back here. So it is heavy to go this way. And I don't, did I hit anything and it turned on? I may have slid over it. Or I would have to get used to how to use this, but the back side is heavy, but this thing worked so well. There is not one hesitation I had while using this, except the fact that that is heavy. But I'm telling y'all, this was a slam dunk for me. 
Um, I would love to see how well this holds up, but it has everything that I like. It has a locking mechanism. Like you can, do you hear that? Super strong. It feels as strong. Yeah, I would say it feels as strong as the Manny Pro. So here for reference is the Manny Pro I've well used and this guy. This is not a light hand file and this is a lighter hand file than this but the weight is in the back so that is what's pulling it back. I need to be more conscious of how I'm holding this because I feel like it could easily slip out because it is a very smooth surface but this this is probably my favorite one I've tried so far um, especially for the fact that this is it. This is what you got. I don't know how long it will last, so I don't know the longevity. And the controls, I would have to, you know, pay attention how to use it, make sure I don't accidentally turn it on. I love that they included these two bits. Okay, so I'm thoroughly impressed with this bad boy. Uh, like shockingly impressed so uh, so far 10 out of 10 maybe let's do 9.5 out of 10 because of the touch sensitive I know it's like 21st century and like really cool to have all that but for me I'm hitting it so that goes to show you where I kind of hold my product so I'm sure somebody else is also um, done that as well so just be mindful of the touch settings but great e-file so far really really impressed and I'm definitely going to use it during my next full redo of my nails to really test this bad boy out